What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, Ghost. This is Backlog Boy Studio Reviews. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this real crispy, nice little suit here, which is the X1 Crossbones. It's uh, number 31 in the RG line and a relatively new kit. But uh, without further ado, let's hop into this. So here's the X1 crossbones without the anti-beam cloak on so you can kind of see the detail and color separation a lot better. Um, the kit overall has great color separation and detailing. Um, you could add more um, panel lines if you wanted to. I mean there is some, some areas that leaves desire for more panel lining um, but overall this kit looks great either way with or without the anti-beam cloak uh, right now he has his I guess like beam shield um, that attaches to the forearm just like the brand markers do um, you can flip the brand markers around to face the front so that you can kind of do the fighting thing like from the game um, this kit is from 2019 as I was saying earlier it's a relatively new kit um, it's extremely stiff um, but overall the kit is great as far as articulation goes and posability it has like a pirate theme so um, that's why you see the crossbones on its head and it's given name and everything like that I have included a set of full stickers so that you guys could kind of check out and see what you get these are stickers they're great though the rg style so um on the white areas you're not going to re really be able to see the the ends of it um, on the darker areas it's not going to look as good and you're going to be able to see kind of the borders of the actual stickers um i would highly recommend getting the water slides for this kit because uh, the chest sticker that's right here the uh the kind of signet that's right there um, is actually a sticker as well and it will not stick to the actual kit's chest it'll just kind of come off if, if you touch it or whatever it just it doesn't sit flat or flush with the surface and it, it sucks a lot but let me get them down and kind of get them closer because I just wanted to show you guys what was all included in the kit um, there are a bunch of gimmicks and stuff his weapon changes into a uh, kind of like a cutlass, a pirate cutlass, um, two weapons combined to create the beam rifle that you see right there, that's called the Zam beam rifle, I think, um, but we'll get into that in a second, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of what exactly is included in the kit, and uh, yeah, let me get them down and we'll get a closer look at them. So here he is down, kind of all the other shit's just gone, and you can kind of see him up close and personal. A little bit better at least um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off the stand uh, again the stand is not included I don't know if I said that before but uh, I want to go ahead and say it now because uh, yeah it's definitely not included that's from another HG kit I don't know why they don't include stands for some of these RG kits some of them really need it um, this one's not too bad but it's also not the greatest when it comes to standing I personally can't get him to stand on his own so I just keep him on kind of like whatever new stand that I get and uh, I pose him differently you know make him look good on my shelf or whatever whatever new kind of shelf candy I get <clears throat> overall the look and feel of this kit is really premium um, but it's an RG so that's kind of expected uh, a lot of parts will come off of this kit it's not a hand grenade so to speak I know a lot of people like to say that um, like just hand grenade in general and I don't know really right now a better word for it but um, this is not one of them uh, this is a really great kit it's a solid kit it's a great looking kit it comes with a lot of accessories and gimmicks and uh, overall I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 and the only reason I don't give it a a 10 out of 10 is because it is kind of stiff in some of the joints and there are like these weird key joints for the arms which uh, I don't know if you can see it but right there on that peg there's almost a, a double-sided key joint 
and it sits in here in a certain way and once you put it in you turn it and then if you're too rough with that it will rip it off I had to replace that joint twice so it's not the best but you know it's good for what it does again the color separation part separation the overall color scheme and everything about this suit is great um, like I was saying earlier with the shield he does have these things called brand markers that he fights with um, it's like essentially like a super punch or a, a power fist or something from Fallout um, but you can stick these little beam effects into it which look really cool by the way and uh, yeah you can put him in like a fighting pose if you wanted to where he's like punching and you know kicking you can even put these knives that come with the kit into his feet and uh yeah i mean this dude's a fighter as you can tell um as far as the articulation goes his arms pretty standard with all rgs they all have these cool like inner frames um this one has like shoulder uh shoulder hangers you could probably hang it from a a little diorama or something like that that would be cool um he has a chest opening so that you can see the cockpit cockpit of his core fighter his head goes back and his mouth will open up and then you close it or push his head forward and it closes that is his heat vent uh reactor core heat vent which is a really cool uh gimmick on a kit i've never seen i haven't built a lot of kits i mean like 20 or 30 i think but uh, this is the first one with the opening mouth vent, reactor vent, which is really cool. Um, the knees and legs, these uh, front skirts are going to kind of hinder it from going all the way up. These fucking knee armor is garbage. Uh, it falls off. But as far as the how much you're going to get up and forward out of the knee, that's about all you're going to get. You can get a high kick out of it, obviously pull it all the way back there's gonna be the full high kick if uh, that's what you're trying to do as far as back goes it's gonna be pretty standard pretty much all the way back and all the way up where his feet will touch the back of his head um, this particular kit which I'm pretty sure there's a few other with core fighters but I don't know if they have this same gimmick they have the cool crossbone thrusters and it actually uh, comes out of the mobile suit which is a really cool detail let me put him on here real quick so he ain't just chilling on the ground and so this is the core fighter of course you have the articulation of the actual thrusters the thruster bells move up and down and of course you can close it down like this you need to push and pull the nose up when it's in flight mode um, and of course you've got the beam savers that are holstered right here cool little beam sabers um, I don't know if these are the functional ones to be honest with you I have to look at the manual but there are functional beam sabers that you can use that he can use if you want to as well as the uh, beam cutlass but that's what it looks like in flight mode it's kind of cool on its own if you wanted to display it I'm sure you could but uh, that's definitely a cool little gimmick uh, that sets it apart from other orgies and as you can see, this is cup color separated, so the orange comes from the actual ends of the beam sabers. You do need to tuck that nose back down before you install them back in. And he pretty much just plugs back in like that. Make sure that these beam sabers are in the right uh, spot so that you know shit doesn't break up or you don't break anything. Let's go. Are you gonna go in or? Not. I guess I'm gonna have to manually push you forward. Okay, yeah. And as you can tell, there is all this color separation. I have put some of the stickers, and as you can see, you can see the actual border of the sticker. This is one of the signets I was talking about. That's supposed to go on the chest piece where I put a water die water slide decal, and this is the only one that I put on because I have another kit. I'm just gonna redo and. Uh, once I do redo, I'm going to give this one to my son, and uh, I'll have one that's fully painted and kitted out with water slide decals and everything like that. Um, I put another signet 
right here on the cutlass the handle of the beam zamber um, and again yes he is a pirate so he does have a a cutlass I believe you take this and turn it so it normally faces like this you pick it up if it doesn't come off like that you pick it up turn this and then this goes over here let me pull this hand out because I did glue the armor on because this hand tends to come off it's just not the handle of the guns too wide and so it won't properly hold the beam zamber if you don't like glue this it'll just keep coming apart so that is another complaint for me and this is the pirate cutlass known as the beam cutlass which is cool as hell um, and then you have this which is like a flintlock beam pistol I guess you could say um, when you combine it with this Again, you pull this up, turn it around, close that back down almost like a scope, put that together, and then bam, you have the Beam Zamber, which is the assault rifle version of his weapon, which is cool as hell. Um, again, like you've seen before, um, the head is really cool. There's a lot of articulation, like normal, any RG kit. It will spin 360. Again, it's the only kit I know of with a opening and closing mouth gimmick when you do mess with the head like that. Almost like he's screaming, which is cool as hell. Um, the waist is going to spin 360, but you're going to need to put these backing up to spin them around. And he will do the 360 spin. He will do that. Um, oh, there's one of the knee armor. There's both the knee armor. Sorry, right, we'll just leave them off for right now. These front skirts do come off because there's kind of like a gimmick and articulation with it. Um, they turn into like these little claw things that attach to these crotch chains, like so. And you have. I remember how to attach these things, which I don't remember how to attach these things. But these attach to these chains right here and become a little a hook that comes out of the crotch. Which again is cool, but I don't use it. I don't display with it. I don't see people displaying with it, but you know, it's there for people who do want to display it. His hand back on so it doesn't look like a, someone that lost their hand all right there we go get his arm back in get his knee armor back on there we go here we go his weapons will holster on the sides like uh, most kits and again yeah he is a pirate themed robot robot mecha suit um, he has a anti-beam cloak that can go over him hides a lot of the detail but it is there um, he does not come with a stand. His articulation is great. The stickers that it come with are pretty standard RG run of the mill stickers. He comes with a ton of uh, effect parts. A lot of hands which I painted. These don't come white. I painted these just because I like the way the white hands look. Of course he's got trigger hands. The I am God praying hands. Also known as um, what is that called? expressive hands. And then, of course, the weapon holding hands. Oh, can't forget the clinch fists that are super tiny so that he can wield the brand markers. There are little buoy knives that you can attach into the foot or into these little handles that tuck away into his calf. And you have little buoy knives that he can hold 
this is his little butthole um, closure thing in case you're going to display him not on a base but I just wanted to thank everyone for coming I really appreciate everyone who's been here and I apologize for the wait I will put up another video here in about two days I plan on getting kind of back into the algorithm uh, I've just had a lot going on um, you know COVID spring break and everything like that so it's kind of been hard for me to catch up but hopefully got if you guys are here you enjoyed it um, I appreciate any feedback that you guys have and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one